is Marida, a 1,235 square kilometer municipality in Kochi, a prime location and a beautiful one on the Wembanad Lake. And suddenly, the center of a raging controversy. Alpha Serene is a premium waterfront apartment complex with 80 flats. On their website, Alpha Ventures advertises the breathtaking view of the water from all the apartments. And it is indeed breathtakingly beautiful. But it is also in violation of the Coastal Regulation Zone rules according to a committee appointed by the Supreme Court. And the court has now ordered the demolition of this building along with three others in Marida Municipality. Golden Kailorum, H2O Holy Faith and Jane's Coral Cove. You see, the apartments and other buildings here have been built dangerously close to the Vaimpanat Lake. As you can see, the fence of this particular apartment is actually touching the water body. No matter how awesome or luxurious that might seem, in most cases, this is a violation of the Indian environmental laws. The Environment Protection Act of 1968 places some areas under coastal regulation zones, CRZ for short. And now these zones are where construction activity is prohibited. And the more environmentally sensitive an area is, the more stringent the rules are. CRZ-1 areas are ecologically sensitive and important, such as national parks, marine parks, sanctuaries, reserve forests, etc. CRZ-4, meanwhile, applies to coastal stretches in the Andaman and Nicobar, Lakshwadeep and many small islands. The point of contention in Marida is whether these apartments have to follow rules for CRZ-2 or CRZ-3. While CRZ2 applies to urban areas, including the municipalities that have already been developed close to the shoreline, CRZ3 applies to relatively undisturbed and rural areas. While the rules are more relaxed for CRZ2, they are more stringent for CRZ3. The builders and owners of these apartments claim that their buildings fall under CRZ2. But the Supreme Court had decided, on the basis of a report submitted by a committee formed by the court itself, that this is a CRZ-3 area. So therefore, for the sake of the environment, the Supreme Court has ordered the demolition of these four apartment buildings. On May 8th, I was in my workplace. People started calling me, saying that they are seeing my apartment in TV and the Supreme Court has ordered for demolishing it. So I, first I laughed because I didn't believe it. We were never a part of this case. We were provided with the correct documents that, are, that we have verified and we have bought this. This is not a, a flat or a house for this. Actually, it is my home. My kids grew up here. Uh, so, to um, get out from the house one fine day, uh, uh, it's very heartbreaking. The residents say they followed all the rules, while the court says the buildings were in clear violation. So what's the truth and what can you do to make sure that you avoid being in such a situation while buying a house? To understand this, we need to look at the timeline of this case. Sometime between 2005 and 2006, five builders reached out to the Marida Panchayat seeking permission to build five luxury apartment complexes in the area. In 2006, the Marida Panchayat gave them the permission. Remember, in 2006, Marida was a Panchayat, a rural area, and so it came under CRZ-3 automatically. Therefore, the Kela State Coastal Zone Management Authority contested the building of these apartments. The Panchayat then notified the builders, but the builders managed to get a stay from the Kela High Court and went ahead with the construction. Which brings us to the first mistake that homeowners must avoid before buying a property. If there is any kind of legal tangle, save your money and look for something else. In 2010, Marad was reclassified into a municipality, which means that this is an urban area. The residents and the builders say that therefore the buildings should not be demolished. However, this brings us to the second thing that you should remember before buying a house. Today's laws do not apply to yesterday in most cases. When a property entangled in any litigation is transferred pendente litte, that is pending the litigation. The 
buyer even if he is not a party to that he is not aware of that property the final verdict will be binding on the buyer as well remember your civics lesson in school ignorance is not bliss the residents at these four apartments in murder say that the panchayat gave them all the required permission and so they are not at fault but the murder panchayat that never had the authority to give these permissions we checked for the builder's permit possession certificate income brand certificate everything and we had an advocate from our side who verified all the things and then we applied for the bank loan the bank also has an advocate who will scrutinize everything so everything was done and the panchayat gave us the number electricity board gave us the connection after 2010 i have been paying the tax electricity bill everything and staying here of course we inquired about the background of the builder and all so we didn't find anything very abnormal in abnormal or um, what you say doubtful uh, in these things because as far as we are concerned what we will look we will look whether our property has all the valid documents so that was in place that's why we bought the apartment bringing us to point 4 do your homework especially when it's a property that is on the waterfront or in a forest area there's no doubt that if the buildings are demolished it will be a big blow to the 2000 residents however the environment too needs to be protected we've seen the damages caused by humans in the recent floods and landslides in kerala itself of course it's not just the residents fault in this human versus environment conflict what about the murder panchayat and municipality that gave these permissions what about the builders who decided to focus on making profits instead of following the rules what about the state government authorities who didn't implement these laws properly what about the banks that gave the loan clearance for these apartments everyone needs to be pulled up unfortunately though the biggest losers in this long battle will be the 2000 residents of these four apartment buildings in murder this is shiba korean with neetu joseph for the news minute